Manoj Mohammed and Sheikh Fayaz. Good evening and welcome to the Nahati Stadium as it's time for match number three of the championship phase. Srinidhi Deccan taking on Mohammedan Sporting Club live today in the third game of the evening. And it's going to be a big one. There is Srinidhi Deccan Football Club coming into the stadium a couple of hours before kickoff. Fernando Santiago Valera and his side are gearing up for their second phase. The first game in that for them, Mohammedan Sporting Club looking to get closer to Gokulam Kerala, but for Sridhi Tekken, they're looking to get closer to that top three. They're in fourth position at the moment and in their debut season have been having a wonderful time in the Hero I League. Can they continue that in phase two? got six wins to their name three draws and three losses and there are a lot of setback against Mohammedan Sporting in the first phase so uh, how would you uh, approach to counter against them in the today's game in second phase we are very uh, prepared to, to face them there is a, a strong team uh, like they are very sure in the play with the foreign play also and they are looking attacking uh, and defensively also. Um, but uh, we, we have to believe in, in our capacity, in our creativity to, to, to do well like we are doing and try to find a way to, to beat them. That's what coach Santiago Varela had to say before the game and this is how he lines up his side. Aryan Lamba starts in goal for the first time this season and Luis Ogana, David Castaneda, Munoz, Awal Muhammad and Hamza Kher are all starting. So they've got their big guns out for this game in a 4-3-3 formation and it will be interesting to see how they take on this Mohammedan sporting side. David Castaneda Munoz leading the lineup once again. A lot to choose from on the bench. Shibin Raj starts on the bench for today. And Rosenberg, oh. Gabriel, Mabia Changte, Fredson, Marshall, Mohamed Salah are also options. Chungnunga, surprisingly, does not start this evening. And on the other hand, the black and white brigade of Mohammedan Sporting Club coming into the stadium a few hours ago they will be raring to go once again disappointing draw versus Niroka FC last time out for Andrei Chernyshov and his men who you just saw on your screen they have to bridge the gap between them and Gokulam Kerala if they want to lift the Hero I League trophy in a few weeks time there is a skipper Nikola Stojanovic Hello coach, good evening. 
uh, an exciting match against a strong side, uh, Sriniti Deccan. So, what's your take on today's game against them? Uh, good evening. Uh, today we expect a very uh, difficult game because we will play against one uh, good uh, team. Uh, they can play nice football. They have uh, many experienced uh, players. But uh, we know how they want to play and we are ready for uh, that game. We are also strong. Uh, we want to win this uh, game and I believe in my players. Thank you, Coach. That was Andrei Chernyshov and this is how he lines up his side. Mitun Chamanta remains in goal. They've got Wayne Vaz, Chulova, Stojanovic, Fayaz, Brandon, Manoj, Sudit, Shadu, Abhishek Haldar, and Del Rudovic and Marcus Joseph. This is how they line up in a 4-4-2 formation. Brandon and Marcus Joseph will be playing up top. Stojanovic and Halder in the midfield. And on the wings, they're ever dangerous. Sheikh Fayaz and Ludovic. They are still without Shahir Shaheen in the lineup. On the bench, so much to choose from. Azaruddin Malik is there. Faiz Ali Buam. And as well as Manchong. Zotan Mavia, however, still starts on the bench. And the match officials for this evening, the referee is, ref is K. Ramdasan, along with his assistants of Sainat Haldankar, Vijay Ashankar, and Priyabharta Singh is the fourth official. It is the league for all and it is all to play for this evening and in the next few weeks as we start the journey to naming the next Hero I League champions or maybe it will be the same ones as Gokulam Kerala have started their title defence in fine form picked up another victory today but there are a lot in the chasing pack those two are the ones playing today's game. Sri the Deccan and Mohammedan Sporting will be eyeing that top spot, especially Nikola Stojanovic and his men who are walking out of the tunnel. They've got to get closer to Gokulam Kerala. For a long time they led them and were a few points behind, but now they are seven points behind Gokulam Kerala. If they win today, they will bridge that gap to four points. Shrinidhi Deccan, on the other hand, have got to look towards that third position where Roundlass Punjab are on 23 points, two ahead of Shrinidhi Deccan. So as I said, it's all to play for as the skippers Maya and Nicola meet the officials for this evening and get the formalities underway. A lot of big names on show and look at that for Srinidhi Deccan, Louis Ogana, Hamza Khair, Awal Muhammad and of course, David Castaneda, Munoz, those are their foreigners, but even their Indian players can pack a punch. And same for Mohammed and Sporting. A bit of youth, a bit of experience, and a lot of guile in their side as they attempt to overhaul Gokulam Kerala. Six games stand between these sides and the end of the season. And they would like to attain maximum points from those encounters. It's easier said than done though. Because in the top seven, anyone can beat anyone. In fact, out of all the 13 teams, we've seen so many upsets. So anything is possible, especially in this championship phase where everyone is trying to overhaul the others Let's go. 
There is the young Aryan Lamba. Who in fact has made a couple of appearances. And if you're keeping someone like Shivan Raj out of his position, then you're doing a good job. So around the way in the championship phase, it's match number three. Shriniti Deccan are taking on Mohammedan Sporting Club and this promises to be a mouth-watering encounter. All of them are in the top seven. As Brandon gets off Mohammedan Sporting to a good start. Nice ball in towards Marcus Joseph. But the young head on the shoulders of Aryan Lamba was there to collect and he launches it first time. It's all about building momentum and both these sides are coming into this game on the back of draws. That's not a good clearance. Falguni has it for Srinidhi Tekin. Rudovic comes back and helps Manoj Mohammed to defend that one. You see already both sides trying to get their chances in and the shot comes in from... Castaneda Munoz strikes it wide. I think it did take a deflection. It will be the first corner of the game within the first 70 seconds. And that man is so lethal. He's got nine goals to his name already. The leading scorer for Shiriti Tekin. Ugana has also got three. And Mabia Chante has got two. But he is on the bench. Shahabaz will take the corner for Shinidi Deccan. With his left foot, Shahabaz puts it in. And it has gone away from a few players. I think it was Shiram who was closest to it. Let's take another look. Good delivery, whipped in, Shiram was there and nobody else attacked it. Can't blame the delivery from Shahbaz, it was a good one. The ball is given away cheaply to Maya. She the tech and putting a lot of pressure on Mohammed in Sporting and as I say that, the ball fizzles out of play. Samantha doing a good job for Mohammedan Sporting. It was Zothan Mawia who was starting initially in the season, but now he is keeping him out. And Mithun is the number one. Good challenge from Manoj Mohammed. Rudovic plays it wide towards Brandon, and there comes Hamza Kher was missing from the squad for a long time but now he's back and what a time to be back for his side spoke about the goal scoring process prowess of Sri the Tekken Mohammed Sporting on the other hand as well with Marcus Joseph of course he needs no introduction he's got 11 goals and then Rudovic with four Sheikh Fayaz with three a lot of them chipping in Nikola Stoyanovic with two and many assists to his name and also Ashir Akhtar getting on the score sheet there is Nikola winning the ball back there's some space now for Sheikh Fayaz who goes for a ball in and it's time for a Mohammedan Sporting corner. This is a good start from both sides. Who will draw first blood? Nikola Stoyanovic will take the corner. As we see, Fernando Santiago Valera for 
actually be taken on the touchline. They'll want to defend this. Sajanovic plays it quite long and Rudovic won't get to it. What a player he has been for Momden Sporting this season and also in the previous tournaments that they have played. Nikola Sojanovic has held everything together from that midfield. He marshals the side, scores goals, gets assists, makes challenges. Is there anything he can't do? Wayne Vaz goes for a long ball. Fayaz is dead, hits Shahabaz who didn't know much about it and Nawal Mohammed will tidy it up. Joseph putting a bit of pressure, not the best clearance from Lama. Here is Maya. Wayne Vaz quite high up the pitch, makes a foul and then goes back into his centre back position, which he has made his own in the last few games. that as well. Shunova coming back into the starting lineup. Has so much of experience. It has Chulova. And in this time of the campaign that is what you need. Sadhu goes for a clearance and almost took off Ramavia's head in the bargain. Luckily there was no contact though. Here is David Castaneda, who knows. Hamza Khair now. I assume he can build the play. Bagui goes for a long ball, that's a good one towards Castaneda, who knows, who has finished it and Shiridi Deccan have taken the lead in this mammoth encounter. And it is the man of the moment as always, David Castaneda, who knows. Who has made the run in? What a ball for Marijit Bagui! And once he is through on goal, there is no stopping this man. First blood has been drawn by Sridhi Tekin. Momden Sporting are stunned. And the run from Castaneda was not spotted, but the ball was a sublime one from Bagui. And eight minutes in, Mohammed and Sporting are trailing. Let's take another look at that. What a ball from Bagui. The defense has got to do better. What a first touch and a cool finish to take it away from Mithun. There is no stopping that. Nicely created that angle and all smiles for the side in orange and green. This is going to give them a lot of confidence as they're looking to equal moments and Sporting on points. Can go straight into that number two position here is Brandon, puts it in for Fayaz, this could be the equalizer. No, it wasn't. Coming ever so close. Bombs and Sporting are not going to back down. Fayaz not able to head that towards goal, but almost catching an equalizer just one minute after conceding. Said this would be a mouth-watering game, and here we have it. Should be taken if they win this game. 
will go to third place, not second. They are on 21 points. They will go to 24. Now with Sporting are on 26, so they are not going to lose the second position, but it's all about first. And they need the three points to keep the pressure on Gokulam Kerala. Here is Brandon playing it wide for Fayaz. Rudovic is going to go inside. Fayaz has Brandon to choose from, and Joseph has missed it. Or rather, was coming into the box late. The ball has been given away by Falguni, not like him. Joseph decides to turn back inside. They have to keep him quiet to see the deck in, and Joseph has got the ball again. Nice interception from him. He's played it back inside. And the clearance is made not too far though. This is good pressure from the black and white brigade. Manoj Mohammed goes for another ball in, but Hamza Kher will clear it. It's back to Nikola Stojanovic. Relentless now from Mohammed in sporting. And it's back in, and the equalizer was almost found by Sheikh Fayaz with the header once again. Beautiful delivery this time round from Manoj Muhammad. The first time ball in, and Sheikh Fayaz coming in on the back stick. Almost stuck it into the back of the net. Two shots each from both sides, and that just goes to show the attacking flair in both camps. Sheikh Fayaz with two shots and I think the foul to add to that I'm just a bit too eager to get the ball back a poor challenge from him taking out Shriram Bhupati Hamza Khair and Awal Mohammed at the back will be a fortress but so far Mohammed and Sporting have created some chances it's been interesting to see those two up against Brandon and Marcus Joseph as we see another ball in from Bakwi looking for Luis Ogana this time. Here is Fias. Here is Manoj Mohammed. Halder looking for a cross field ball. It's a nice one towards Fayaz. Just doesn't work out on that occasion, but they've given the ball back to Marcus Joseph. Hamza here with the mistake. Uh, and Awal Mohammed does really well to play it back out, but Mohammed in Sporting will come back again. Here is Brandon. He's got Joseph. It's opened up for him. He's cut onto his right hand side, and Marcus Joseph, who prefers the ball on his left cut inside and would you look at that for the first time in the season we are seeing some fans on show and they have been treated to an excellent first 13 minutes Marcus Joseph could have treated them with a goal which would really have got them going great to see fans back at stadiums especially for Mormon Sporting who are playing their games here in Kalyani and Nahati and are also away from Kolkata and the fans are making the journey to see their club play but at the moment they have not been treated to a goal from them a goal which they need to equalize. See the deck and have put them on the back foot, but Mohammed and Sporting are still coming at them, which is good to see. Halder playing a nice ball around the corner. Surely that is a foul from Ogana on Chulova. Here is Halder looking for Joseph who will not play to Fayaz. Took his own sweet time and was brushed off it by Sriram. 
who has lost the ball again. Nikola looking for Joseph again, and Hamza K doesn't give him any space. As you would expect, Sadhu could keep that under control. This is a good start to the game from both sides, in fact. And as I said, you love to see the crowd at a football game, at any sporting event. They are the life of the game. But they're seeing their side behind at the moment. Falguni skips away, still has possession and does really well to keep a hold of it. That's a good challenge from Brandon to win it back. Halda twists and twists and turns and then plays an aimless ball in. The last time these two sides met was in phase one where Morgan Sporting picked up a 3-1 victory over Srinidhi Deccan. Goals from Marcus Joseph and Andelo Rudovic did the job for the Black and White Brigade. As we see a ball into Brandon who is offside. And guess who scored for Srinidhi Deccan? Yes, you've got it right. It was David Castaneda Munoz. In fact, he scored the goal to give them the lead similar to what he has done today okay. but Mohamedin Sporting came back from behind and picked up the 3-1 victory so they'll be looking to do the same today but first they have to equalize Romawia plays it towards Ogana but Wayne Vaz got there ahead of him alert defending from the number four Lack of communication there between Fayaz and Nicola. Nicola wanted the ball to his feet. Fayaz thought he'd play, play him ahead. And another foul comes in from Sriram. But he's the one down. Not much in it. As Abhishek Haldar won the free kick Nikola plays it beautifully towards and then Rudovic Manoj Mohammed finds Brandon good rhythm to this game and to the attacks in it here is Rudovic trying to get the better of Bagui who set up that first goal and sets himself up for a free kick but doesn't get it now it surely will be one and Bagui does a good job against Rudovic. Definitely a foul in that one. In fact, it's been given the other way because Bagui was almost sitting on the ball. Rudovic is the one who's got the free kick. So that is a twist. Then Rudovic stands over it, he puts the ball in. Well cleared away by David Castaneda Munoz. Who also does his fair share of defending, especially during set pieces. He's such an aerial threat. Nicely done by Manoj Mohammed, but then he couldn't play the pass and now he's caught out of position. Falguni with a good ball towards Castaneda and Vain Vaz is there to keep him quiet for the time being at least. He'll be happy with the way his side has started, especially if you can get an early goal. It is an advantage for your side. They have got that. Can they hold on to the advantage or double it with this corner?
Shahabaz. He's got Bagui there. Decides not to go for that. Shahabaz puts the ball in. Had a coming from Castaneda. Sadhu was going with his feet. And that will go down as another chance for Castaneda. He's just shadowing with his foot. Perhaps he thinks the better option would have been with his foot. Manoj Muhammad makes another miss pass. Still hasn't got into the game as well as he usually does. Another long ball is played. And these runs in behind from Shuri Deccan uh, not being followed by Mohamedan Sporting. Here is Bagui looking to put another ball in. And the header comes in. Not sure who got the last touch. But that was another opportunity for Shiriti Deccan. Wayne was screaming at his defense. It looked like it was Romavia who got the touch. So it will be a cold kick. Bagui has had a good start on this right hand side. Hamza Khair clears it away. And the more you see of Rudovic and Joseph lurking, you just feel that a chance will pop to them. And they usually snap those chances up. Wal Muhammad to Ogana. Romavia skips away from the challenge from Haldar. Leon says the referee. Shahbaz puts some shape on it, but Satu gets there before Castaneda, who was anywhere offside. Satu. Plays the ball towards Joseph who takes it nicely but the flag is up. The referee hasn't seen it. Now he has. So midway through the first half, it's advantage Srinidhi Deccan. Long way to go but they are looking quite comfortable while defending and while attacking. They have made the inroads towards the Mohammedan sporting box more often than their opponents. Joseph plays the ball to Fayaz. Advantage is played on, but Fayaz doesn't have too many people to pass it to. He holds on. Now it's Nicola. Looks for the one two with Brandon. Instead, Brandon goes for the ball in. Looking for Joseph. That is an aimless ball. But Brandon does get it back. Chulova looks for the ball in. This time, a better one. And that was well defended by Awal Mohammed. And not often that you will be able to put the ball in between Hamza Khair and Awal Mohammed. They both very good at positioning themselves so if one misses it the other will get the long ball it's got to be an inch perfect pass or it's got to be over the top or at the first post to get in between them would be very difficult
Manoj Mohammed to take the throw in. Nikola dropping very deep. This is what he likes to do. And the way things are going, they have to build from the back, do more than sporting. She, the Deccan, keeping a good shape. You can see they're in control of the game. And not many. There you go. Ball is given back quite cheaply. Falguni has it. Plays it on the edge of the area. This could be a chance from Mawia. Plays it in, and that is goal number two for Sridhi Deccan. What a time they are having here at Nahati Stadium. And it is Luis Ogana who doubles the lead for Sridhi Deccan. They are having the time of their lives at the moment. Ogana comes in with the celebration and it is all going right for Fernando Santiago Valera and his men. Mohammed in sporting are looking stunned, but they gave the ball away. And Falguni played it to Romavia, who whose first touch was sublime. And he just had to play it to Ogana, who got his fourth goal of the campaign now. And this is going to be an uphill task for Mohammed and Sporting. Not what their fans who have travelled here would have wanted. And they have been very sloppy at the back in terms of playing the ball out. Usually they are so intricate with that. Today it's not looking like it. Perhaps they're also missing the physical presence of Shahir Shaheen. Especially dealing with the likes of Castaneda and Ogana. Both of them who have scored. Vaz plays it to Rudovic. Look how tight she the Deccan are now. They're not going to give more than sporting an inch. Falguni drops back. He's such an important player for this. She the Deccan side, but he gives the ball away to Manoj Mohammed, who makes a mess of that cross. Fayaz will pick it up though. Chulova. Good ball towards Brandon. Back to Fayaz. Sojanovic is there. If he needs to shoot, he does shoot, but it comes back to Rudovic. Who opens it up, takes a shot and had Aryan Lamba scrambling for a second, but the young goalkeeper had it covered. What a start for Sridhi Deccan. In the first half an hour, they are leading by two goals to nil and have been quite convincing quite threatening ever every time they go into this position where they are right now win was does a good job there though there is win was playing it towards ludovic ludovic and joseph have got to be more involved have had a bit of the ball they do like to take their time in getting involved in the game but it's already half an hour gone has been proactive wins the ball back good ball from stojanovic but shabazz read it well he gives the ball away now stojanovic that's not like him giving the ball away twice in the span of around 10 seconds falguni goes for that long ball again Ogana up against Chulova. Luis Ogana tries to go past Chulova, does go past and forces the save from Mithun, who puts his hands on his hips and he knows that his defense is struggling. Mohammed and Sporting are looking a shadow of themselves in the defense. And Fernando Santiago Valera will want to make the most of that. 
he can sniff an opportunity to get a third. Can they make it three? Bagui puts another ball in. Chilova clears. Is this a counter-attacking opportunity for more than sporting? I don't think so because Fayaz has fouled Romavia. In fact, it was Haldar who fouled Romavia. And with 30 minutes on the clock, it's time for a cooling break. Sri the Deccan in the ascendance. More than sporting. Not so much. Time for the cooling break and the coaches having a word with their sides. Under Chernyshov will not be happy. He needs to change something. Will he do it? Will he make some switches on the field or will he go to his bench? does have options. He's got the likes of Manku Kuki, Shushin Mente, Fezal Ali, Samte, Buam, Nazaruddin Malik. A lot to choose from. But he's not panicking, panicking just yet. Hamza Khair puts the ball in. Kassaneda is there. Cleared by Vaz, a shot comes in. Sadhu was there to clear it away. Long ball from Mithun, but oh, that is a bad touch from Awal Muhammad, but nicely recovers. It's all looking a bit stagnant for Mohammed in Sporting. They've got to change something. There is one man on the ball who can change things. He can turn a game on his head, on its head, and that is what Nicola is trying to do. Getting more of the ball. Playing some passes, looking to build some momentum for his side. Shilova loses out. And now Sridhi Deccan have another chance. Castaneda goes for the first time ball. Manoj Mohammed has not had the best game. And he knows it. Andy Chernyshov, not a happy man. Usually doesn't come out into his technical area so quickly in the game. It looks like the shoulders have already drooped a little bit for more than sporting. They've, they need a spark. They need something to get out of this. can't even play themselves out of their own area at the moment. Shiram. Good challenge from Manoj Muhammad. That is more what he is like. But again, the ball is given away. Shahbaz has it. Goes for the ball in. Ramavia. Will he shoot? He does shoot, but it's straight to the hands of Mithun. Okay. 
10 minutes to go in the first half. And there's no guesses as to which dugout you would rather be in. Sridhi Tekin, quite dominant at the moment. Oozing in confidence. And it's the absolute opposite for Mohamedan Sporting. Manoj makes another foul. This time Fayaz is the one foul. Brandon takes it quickly. And another loose ball from him. Luckily it found Chulova. Here is Sadhu. Forced to play the long ball once again. And as I mentioned, it's very tough to beat Awal Muhammad or Hamza Khair in the air. Maya with a loose pass this time. Here is Joseph dropping deep. Can he change the fortunes of Mohammedan Sporting as he has done many a time this season? Another loose ball from Manoj. Here he is once again, Haldar. Sadhu. Joseph to Brandon. A lot of orange shirts around him. Plays it to Chulova and back to Joseph. They're using the patient build up for this one. Nikola to Haldar, who shoots from distance and it has come out to Fayaz. Nikola does well. Haldar back to Rudovic. This is a chance, but he doesn't shoot so many of the opponents around him. Brilliant defending from Sridhi Dekin. Here is Chulova going for another ball in and this is good pressure from Mohamedan Sporting. Haldar takes a shot from distance. What a strike that was. But what a save forced from Aryan Lamba. Haldar looked for the shot from distance before this. He didn't connect but my did he connect this one. Short corner. Rudovic goes for the ball. Joseph is there. Has been headed away though. They will come back again. Chulova with another ball in. Sadhu is there. He won't have any space to turn. Plays it back to Nikola. Who shifts onto his left and doesn't get a chance to shoot. Goes back onto his right. And wins a corner. This is much better from Mom than Sporting. This is what we usually see from them the third corner of the game captain Nikola takes it oh and that is a clash between both players and Rudovic almost scored that one it was cleared off the line oh how did that not go in what a clash between the goalkeeper and I don't know who the other player was I think it was Fayaz and Aryan, but then a great recovery save from the keeper to deny Rudovic, who thought he had scored. Ramawia takes it upfield for Trinidad Deccan. Ogana. Good dropping back from Rudovic. That is not a good clearance from Chulova. Moblin Sporting. All over the place at the back. Looking for a way back into this game. They cannot afford to concede a third. That is for sure. There is Chulova. Nikola. Better passage of play. That's not a good challenge from Maya. Should be a foul. Advantage played on by the referee. Rudovic Joseph nice ball towards Brandon Hamza Khair comes in Brandon with a good turn and doesn't want to use his left foot to play the cross in Three, 
Nikola Sojanovic is still down after that challenge which came in. And that's why the referee had to blow. Because it's high time that he receives some attention. And I'm not sure if Maya is going to get away with that one because it should have been a yellow card. Should have definitely seen a card for that challenge from behind. Nikola Stojanovic receives attention. Looks like he will be okay to continue. Under five minutes to go of regulation time in the first half. Moblin Sporting still chasing it. But they have been better in the last five minutes or so. Can we capitalize on that? Shneedy Deccan would love to go into halftime with this two goal lead. Ball given away there by Awal Muhammad, but Hamza Khair will take it forward. Again, space for Sridham. This time looks for the ball, and Mithun has spilt it. Ogana, Mithun gets back there, and this could be the chance for Falguni to make it three. What a block that is from the defender and the goalkeeper, but danger wasn't averted. Now I think it has been. Fayaz will take it forward. In fact, gives the ball back. Between Chulova and Mithun, both of them kept the ball out. They are looking at sixes and sevens now, Mohamedan Sporting Defence. And Ogana again, could this be number three? Oh, it struck the post and gone wide. My goodness, how many chances have Sridhi Tekin had? And coach Fernando Santiago Varela and his dugout know it. Good save eventually by Mithun and the post helping out Mohammedan Sporting. Definitely should have been a corner, but I think the goal kick is given. What an eventful first half we are witnessing. Mohammedan Sporting are lucky not to be three or four goals down. Yes, they should have had a goal themselves, but how many chances are they giving their opponents? Mithun has hurt himself in the bargain. Nikola is back. Mohamed hey. Sporting have more of the possession, but Shindi Deccan have the goals and the chances. Be different perspectives in terms of the halftime team talk for both the managers. Mohammed and Sporting chasing the game. We'll have to give it their all in the second. Shinidhi Deccan will just have to keep the game in control. And they look dangerous every time they attack. Do the side in orange and green. Marcus Joseph is a frustrated figure. Hasn't got many chances. Can he turn that around in the second half? We know he just needs one. Mithun with the long ball. Joseph doesn't even chase that one. Maya turns nicely, plays it wide to Shabazz. And four minutes of added time shows fourth official Priyabharta Singh. 
And I think Coach Varela is wondering why there are four minutes added. I've seen a few stoppages, but not too many. Another loose touch from Haldar. Ramavia plays it back. Shahbaz puts another ball in. It's come towards Sriram. That's a good block from Sadhu. As Ogana was looking to take another shot. Rudovic gets past Bagui quite easily. Nikola turns away from two and three. And plays a nice ball towards Brandon. Brandon gets the better of Bagui. This could be a chance for more than sporting. Brandon on it. Hamza Kher covers and Brandon has to go back. He had a chance to put the ball into the, to the box. Instead, Banoj puts it in. Header comes in from Fayaz and Aryan will collect comfortably. Bagui just feeling the effects. He's had a good game, he's got an assist. And after that, has had a solid defensive show on the right, but not that time. Brandon got the better of him. We definitely will see some changes for more than sporting. They cannot afford to drop any more points. They will feel that title slipping away from them. Rudovic. He's got Joseph. He doesn't find him though. Falguni with the loose touch. And the ball for Ogana is too long. Brandon looking for the ball to Joseph. This could be the chance he required and he has put it wide. Not sure if it took a deflection but that was the chance Marcus Joseph was waiting for. Looks like he struck it wide. It's just been that kind of a half for Mom than Sporting. They will hope that the second half will be kinder to them. Castaneda does well to play it to Romavia. Sadhu gets ahead of him. Mithun calmly plays it to Haldar. Sadhu back to Haldar. Nothing challenge from Romavia. And a nothing ball from Haldar, he's got to do better. Bagui will take the throw, probably to finish us off in this first half. Uh, half which has only been one color and that is the orange of Shuri Tekin unless Joseph can muster something up here he's played it to Rudovic puts the ball back inside Fayaz is usually there on the back post but not this time can they get one back before half time Chulova goes away from Falguni plays the ball inside and that is the last action of the first half. An action packed 45 minutes. But it is Shinidhi Deccan who have taken Mohamedan Sporting by storm. And it is 2-0 to Shinidhi Deccan in the first half. Here are the statistics. 38% ball possession. Less of the ball but they have got the two goals, nine shots eventually for Mohamedan Sporting, three on target. They really came back well towards the last few minutes. Only four shots on target for Shiridi Deccan. 
but that was enough to get the two goals. Seven shots. David Castellana Munoz with three. He took the first one beautifully. Then Ogana joined the party with one goal out of his three shots. Falguni came close if not for that block from Chulova. He would have made it number three. Joseph with five shots. Sheikh Fayaz with two and Judovic and Nikola with one each. They've got to dig deep in the second half, do more than sporting if they want to come back and get the three points from this one, Muna. which will be an uphill task. Three fouls from Srinidhi Deccan, Bagui, Bhupati and Ugana with one each. Five fouls from the Black and White Brigade. It's not gone well for them. Especially the defence has not looked in good shape. One foul each for Fayaz, Halder, Joseph, Brandon and Vaz. At halftime, Srinidhi Deccan are leading by two goals to nil because of the strikes from Castaneda and Ugana. Moblin Sporting have it all to do if they want to rescue some points in the second half. Join us after the break for more action. Yeah. 
हजार पांच
Welcome back to the Nahati Stadium as Sridhi Deccan Football Club are leading Mohammedan Sporting by two goals to nil and it was goals from David Castaneda, Munoz and Luis Ogana which have given Sridhi Deccan a 2 nil lead which Mohammedan Sporting have to try and overcome and if you can see it's a goalkeeping substitution being made. Mithun Samantha will not continue. He did hurt his right hand. And now Zotan Mabia will replace him. Another change for Mohammedan Sporting. Saiful Rahman comes on and he replaces Chulova. So two substitutions by Andrei Chernyshov. He's got three more to make, but so far he's chosen two and can that change the face of the game. We'll find out in the next 45 minutes, but for now it's all about Trinidad Deccan. They've had a superb first half. And gets us underway in the second. And Mobs and Sporting will need a comeback for the ages if they're going to pick up any points from this one. Here's Fayaz. They've started on the front foot. Rahman puts the ball in. Joseph was coming for it, but Hamza Khair was there before him. 100% at their best now, Mohammed and Sporting, and even more because Shiriti Deccan have been 100%. They have been great in the first half, but football is a tale of two halves. And can Mohammed and Sporting turn the tide? Here is Shabazz making a good run left. No changes for Srinidhi Tekken yet and they don't need to the way they are playing. Fukana just pushes Rabban out of the way, plays the ball back and they will keep a bit of the possession now. Almost given the ball away in their own box at moment in Sporting. Abhishek Halder likes to carry the ball but sometimes you just have to boot it down the field. Especially when you're losing 2 0, you don't want to get yourself into any precarious positions.
the lineup. Half time substitution and Sadhu plays it backwards. In fact, that was the better decision because it gives Othan Mavi a bit of. Rudolf has 13 shots.